y'all welcome back to another vlog if you are new here my name is lala hi welcome welcome to my channel and if you're returning to hager what's up how you doing so today i'm having another random <laughs> solo outing i well first of all let me say last week i did not vlog i'm not gonna be an every week vlogging type of girl until i get like the traction on my vlogs my vlogs don't do as well as the rest of my videos so until people I guess care to really watch my vlogs I won't be doing them every week but so I finished last semester last week and I just wanted to like chill and not have to do much so that was like the main reason why I didn't vlog but this week is my last week no school not even week last few days because Friday I start classes again so, I booked a cabana at a hotel on South Beach, one of the Hilton hotels. So, I found another app. I guess when I used the app I, I used last time, you know, Instagram will show you suggestions. And this new app popped up where you don't book the hotel for the day, but you can book like a pass to go to their pool and go to the bar and all that type of stuff and blah, blah, blah. So this hotel has, wow, very loud truck. So this hotel has a whole, oh my God, let me get away from this truck. Wow, my skin is so dry. I should have run my spray. Sorry about my angle, my thing broke. The mount, it broke. So I have you guys on my dashboard. But anyways, so yeah, they have like an area where you can book either lounge chairs or a cabana and you can get like food service and drinks and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, it'll be like going out to lunch, but in a swimsuit and poolside on the beach, you know? So, so that's my little outing for today. Um, I'm gonna try to get some pictures if I'm not too shy and you know, just chill out. It's really about chilling, but I do wanna get some pictures and I'm vlogging, so content. Yeah. So yeah, we're on our way there and I will chat with you guys a little bit more when I get there. See you guys at the cabana. Push these niggas off me like Push these bitches off me like Push these bitches off me like Pushing the snakes, I'm pushing the fakes, I'm pushing them all on me like Pushing them all off me like I be immune to shit Talking to broom and shit Now with the zoom and shit Know you a joke, my ass is the clothes I holla the moon and shit Know the results, the ballad is him And I'm about to boom again you funny, dog. Think a boo can't hide behind your money, dog. So we went to a meditate on running loss. Swerve, 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 shake the currents off. Yeah. Push these niggas off me like Push these bitches off me like Push these niggas off me like Pushing the snakes, I'm pushing the fakes, I'm pushing them all off me like Pushing them all off me like Yeah. Hey y'all, hey, so I just got back from the mall. Um, I know yesterday was pretty short. I was just vibing, just chilling. It wasn't that much to vlog, you know? So I just came back from the mall. I went to Sephora. Cause I feel like everybody's doing a Sephora haul right now. I'm like, I wanna go to Sephora. And I didn't even know I had like 700 points. So I got like a little gift and I still have over you know a certain amount of points anyway so what did i get to that got this the radiant natural radiant longwear foundation i have this in a darker color that i use sometimes to contour but i really really like this formula but they never have the color that i need which is this one they had it today finally called Muria and I got it let me show y'all this is how it looks out the box because they have different ones but this is the natural the natural radiant long wear foundation I freaking love this formula I talked about this in my favorites 
of 2022 so far video. They just could never have my shade. It was just never in stock for this formula. They had it in stock for a different formula, which was too dry for me. So I found it today, thank God, and yeah. Then I was watching someone do their makeup. I saw them with the Huda Beauty um, concealer. I got this a long time ago when it first came out and I did not like the way it came out. Like it comes out like in a tube, like tube lip gloss. I, I was so like, man, I really love the formula, but I hate the applicator. I don't like putting my concealer on like lip gloss. So I was watching the girl do her makeup and she had this, I guess they got, they changed the applicator. So I'm like, oh my God, let me go get it. So now instead of the lip gloss tube, it comes like this. And it has like a stick applicator, like a normal freaking concealer should have. Like that now, so. If anyone is wondering, I got mine in the shade peanut butter because that's the color I had last time and i love the freaking bottle like look at that so cute i used to use her foundation religiously but they don't make the shade close enough to my skin tone it's a little too orange for me so i had to stop using huda next i just re-upped on my mario better school this is the one i've been using when it comes to like prepping my face for makeup but i also got this to use as a setting spray because the setting spray I usually use, don't get me wrong, I love it, but lately I think the composition of my skin, the oils is changing because I'm not as oily as I used to be and that setting spray is too mattifying for me now, which is crazy because I used to be obsessed with it, but it dries me up too much. So I'm gonna be using this to set my makeup. I got a little blender from Sephora brand. I'm not gonna use this for foundation, but I am gonna use this for setting powder because it has like a little, if you guys can see, it has like that edge. That makes it easy to get in the corner of your eye when you're setting and I needed something like that. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Then I got this salicylic acid mask. I've been needing like a mask. I have masks here, but I have nothing that I want to use. And I saw this, I'm like, this looks familiar. I think my friend has it, I'm not sure. Yeah, she does have this. Shout out to you, Sulu. I say that in almost every vlog. This is how it looks. I'm not sure if charcoal is an ingredient, but it's black. Think about, oh, there's charcoal in here. So it's like a charcoal mask. Then I just got this brow gel. It's the clear color just to set my eyebrows. I usually do the one from Morphe, but I was already in Sephora, so I just got Sephora's. The one in Morphe is actually cheaper. That one is only, I think, $6. This one was $12. So if this one isn't as good as the Morphe one, going back to the Morphe. Last but not least, this is what I got with my points. I always see, oh, this is a toner and a serum. Oops, I thought it was the, I thought it was the moisturizer. So it's from Glow Recipe. It's their watermelon toner and it's a nice, and uh, and a niacinamide serum. So I'm probably gonna try that today too when I do my mask. This is what they look like. This took 500 of my points. But I mean, it's okay, I mean, at least I can get something. But anyway, y'all, I'm just in the house chilling today. I know Coco doesn't know this, but I promised him, <laughs> I promised him I would stay home today because I left him home for a long time by himself two days in a row, so. I'm staying with Coco today. I'm not gonna go out and do anything. All I did was go to the mall and Publix. That's it. Come up. Come on. Come up. Come on. Coco says hi. Yesterday was fun. It was needed. I was just chilling, relaxing. No one bothered me, thank God. Usually if I go somewhere by myself or any woman, I'm sure you guys know already. Men are very annoying. <laughs> But no one was paying me attention. My cabana was in the cut. I was in a corner. So it was easier to take my pictures. Yeah, have fun. I would recommend that for anyone, y'all. The app link will be down below. It's called Resort Pass. I also use day use. But day use is if you want to be able to go in an actual hotel room. Resort Pass, you just go to the amenities. So some even you can go to the spas or whatever that hotel provides. I just wanted to do the cabana. And yeah, 
So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just chill out for the rest of today and I will see you guys when something interesting is worth vlogging happens. What's up, y'all? It's the next day. Today is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm about to just go run to Target and also to like Home Goods and stuff. I'm finally gonna get started on. Let me show y'all. If you're returning, you know I've been complaining about <laughs> these pillows for months. These two black pillows. I really wanna find a replacement for them. I'm okay with this one, but if I could find, you know, whatever I look for and I find something that's cool, but those two black ones gotta go today. This is their last day in this house. Also, I do want a different throw on my bed like this. I don't, I like the colors because it matches every single, excuse me, Coco. It matches every single tone in my room, but it's just not like fluffy enough or big enough or like it's just so simp like it's given ten dollars for my outfit i'm chilling i just got on this random black sundress tory birch slides and my gucci top handle this bag is perfect for running errands because it's so big and i can leave the zipper open and just throw stuff in and out of it as i need to so so for fragrance, I, I don't know why I'm in the mood for like that Tom Ford cherry smell. So I'm going to wear my Cherry Smash. Hope y'all can see it. The Cherry Smash by Alt Fragrance. This smells identical to Tom Ford cherry. But sometimes like I don't want to smell like this all day. So I try to avoid getting it on my skin and just on my dress so i gotta find somewhere to put these i know these two i'm gonna get rid of matter of fact let me take them now i'm bringing down a bag to go recycle so these can go but i want to find a way to get these over there by my other perfumes and one more thing y'all i want to move this now i don't want it right here I think I want to move the perfumes back on that side, move this over here, like in the corner like that, instead of being against the wall, put it like towards the corner maybe, I don't know, and then get rid of this. I don't even know why I still have that, but I'm just not feeling it over here. I want this to have nothing. I might get like a plant or a pompous grass to put here, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that today too, so let's head out so i just left target i didn't vlog because i feel like i take y'all to target every vlog that i do so now i'm heading to this plaza it has like a home goods it has ross and some other stuff over there i think they have a burlington too so i'm going down there because the ones by me don't really have anything like i've been shopping in this area forever and i can't find nothing so i'm going out that way um i'm debating on eating lunch over there as well who knows i think i will because i want something that i don't usually eat either so but i wanted to chit chat for like two seconds because i was watching um a vlog i was watching life with simone shout out to simone i don't know if she watches my videos but i watch her videos religiously and she was talking about her business venture and it just made me so happy because like okay so she's starting a new business oh, it's always a lot of trucks when i want to vlog she's starting a new business and it just made me so happy to hear her like talk about it and she was like really giddy you know when something makes you happy it shows and it just made me happy because <laughs> to turn the conversation to myself I was like, I started, I had my own business already, twice. Um, one was a bartending company. I used to basically just freelance and bartend. I started off with a friend, but she wasn't serious, so I did it by myself. It was fine. And then I did Lala Beauty, which was my little boutique. I had accessories and some cosmetic products. Lala Beauty was not what I expected it to be like. It wasn't as 
clean cut or classy as I would want to have a boutique be. Um, but it wasn't bad. I feel like I did good. Um, business wise, I broke even. If not, I was a little bit over what I put in for everything. So, yes, I did spend a lot, but if you're going to break even, it's like, okay, thank God I did it. I tried it, got the experience, and yeah, I don't regret it. I don't regret one bit of it. It was fun. I got to learn different things. Um, shout out to Mr. I forgot his name. <laughs> My economics professors professor I had one professor for my all three of my economics courses so a big shout out to him because I feel like I learned a lot from him that was like off of the curriculum of what we were supposed to learn like he told us a lot of like gems it made me happy because I finally found out or figured out what I want my next business venture to be and I actually think it this is the one like like the man that you know you're gonna marry I think this is the business that I'm supposed to do um, not even just you know to be so like the most profitable from but something that I have a passion for and I'm like okay this is it this is what I want to do I'm not gonna say it yet cuz you know I got some little mini me's out there I want to be sprinkling you know, I don't want to get them too much. <laughs> I don't want to say too much yet. But I'm really, really going to truly take my time and thoughtfully plan everything out. I already thought of... Alright, so for the product I want to produce, I already thought of four versions of it. And I think I'm going to stick with just four for now. Until I do good with those four and I get a little popping and it's like, okay, this is then I can like branch and do other versions of it. But um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna do it thoroughly. Um, it may take a while for me to even start this, or not start, but to put it out and start you know, selling or even promoting it because I just want it to be, a business is never gonna be perfect, but I do want my rollout to feel perfect. I'm gonna really take my time. I'm happy about it. I was excited when I figured it out. I was like, like girl, why was this not your first idea? The thing is, I thought about doing this before, but you know, you are your worst enemy, okay? If no one's gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, you are your, your worst enemy. I just always thought like, oh, I could never do that. Like, that's too much work and da da da. And after actually, doing Lala Beauty and having so many different types of products I'm like yo this was easier than that like what are you talking about easier when it comes to like the things I have to buy like inventory and stuff like that like what it's not gonna be any cheaper because I want to get the best quality of what I can but um it is less things I have to worry about purchasing so what's crazy is I told someone a while a while ago that they should do it but it's like why did I tell them like my idea they're not even going through with it but I'm like that's what I need to be doing because I love it it's been in my face for years and I just have not pursued it but wow this is a very long train hopefully we find some pillows the crazy thing is I already found a pillow that I'm like okay I'm gonna get this one but I'm like, you know what? It doesn't really match the material that I'm going for or like the aesthetic, the vibe. So I, I was like, you know what? This would be my last option. But actually, no, I take that back. I don't even want that. I will go on Amazon and look for something else. I'll go look online, you know? But hopefully we find some good black pillows. I just, it's so annoying because I'm not gonna change my couch that's the main thing that's my main issue is that i want to change my couch but i can't I, i'm not gonna i live on the third floor i ain't got no elevator i don't want to deal with the movers and them having to move this big ass couch like no i'm not gonna do that um i will switch couches when i actually move which i do want to move but not right now until i move i just gotta work around this modern ass couch that i got i don't know what penthouse i thought i was moving in but i really want like a cozy yet modern couch like those scruffy ones y'all know what i'm talking about 
but mine is so like sleek and leather it's giving billionaire bachelor pad i just gotta work around it so okay the train is finally over so yeah let's go get some pillows and some food yeah look at this pumpkin <laughs> i don't really do like seasonal decorations but that's kind of cute can never find a good pumpkin dress. They only, I can only see them on line, never in store. Hmm. I've been wanting to get stuff like this, but I just don't know where I will put it. <laughs> I need like an interior designer. Yeah, I have this candle home already. It smells so good. I don't need no more candles. It's not why you in here, girl. Okay, so the pillows are no. These are black, but they're too girly. What is this? Oh, they're Halloween themed. Uh-uh. We gotta go. This is cute. Mm, not really. Kind of like these. But they just, they don't match my couch in the slightest. Yeah, I want to change my makeup chair because I keep falling out of it. This is cute, but it don't match. A hundred bucks. If I could find this on white or like beige, that would be great. I found this as soon as I walked in. Here we go. We could just run past all these because I know. <laughs> I don't see anything black. That's some cute stuff though. That's cute. Like for my bed. They have these at uh, Rocco's Tacos. Oh, I want tacos now. I like this. But who's gonna put it on the wall? I fucking like this. Hot as fuck, hot as balls. So I did get that pillow out of Home Goods, but I did go on Ross because I'm like, okay, let me just go in at least one more store. There's a Marshalls here too. I have one in the Home Goods by itself. Because by me, we have Marshalls and Home Goods together. It's one store. But I didn't want to go on Marshalls. I went in Ross, they didn't have Squat Diddly. Well, they did, they had the same exact pillow I just got. So. I just got it, but I think I'm going to look on Amazon and see what else I find because I don't even want this pillow I just got. I'm trying to find somewhere to eat by me, but my phone still thinks I'm in my area, so it's just pulling up a bunch of restaurants by my house. So annoying, but I think I know where I'm going to go. So let me go there. Listen. When I be watching like people's vlogs or their Instagram or whatever and I see they have nice furniture, I'd be like, hey, where'd you get that from? And they always say home goods. Home goods, home goods, home goods. And when I come, which way is out of here? Oh, that was the way. Okay, let me just go this way. But when I come to my home goods, there is nothing. I even left Miami. I came over here to Broward. I'm in Hollywood. Still, no, is this Hollywood or Davy? I think this is Davy. No, nothing. It's like grandma stuff. I saw a beautiful couch in Home Goods, and I'm like, damn, I just said, you know, I'm not gonna get a couch. And it was actually, it was too small for my um, living room area, but that couch was so cute. Like, if I were to get another couch, 
I didn't get to record it because they had a chair on top of it. <laughs> and I'm like, this just don't make no sense to even try to record. So we don't have anything good for home goods. Y'all, fake jewelry? Gotta go. I gotta buy a, a real gold necklace because I be itching. Y'all saw me just itching? Like, I need a real gold chain. I'm gonna work on that next week. Y'all like my phone case? Isn't it cute? Like, I wish it didn't say whatever this says. Nice. But it's cute. I like that it covers the red part. Because that diamond thing I had bought kept falling off. So They had this in other colors too. But something about the white, I was like, I gotta get that. I was about to get the mint. I would never buy anything mint. But the mint in this was just so cute and the pink but the pink was a little bit too much on the peach side so i'm like okay let me get white amazon link in bio as usual so now i have crossed the street the major street from that plaza over to this side this side is like the new area let me get some footage for it sometimes i like getting footage on my phone because the camera be too shaky What's up y'all? I know I look an entire mess, but I'm getting ready to do, I think I'm going to do two videos. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure which two. I know for sure I'm going to do the video that drops Saturday, which is my Ramoa luggage review. I want to review that bag because people inquire about it a lot. My videos that I included get a lot of views so I'm like okay and when I check the analytics people are searching in Ramoa so I'm like okay let me do a review since people want to know about it I just feel like I'm extra dry I don't know so I'm gonna do my makeup that means I get to use the goodies I got this week so since I'm like super dry right now we're gonna start off with this This is the primer that I use. You can find this in Ulta. I want to say I paid like $10, six. I don't know why $6 is popping up in my head every time, but maybe it was. I feel like it was like $10. But it's hydrating, so that's what attracted me to this. And I just love having like a dropper as, a dropper as the applicator. I didn't set my eyebrows yet, so let's try that setting gel. I mean, it's doing the job, but I like the Morphe one better. I gotta get the Morphe one again, I'm out of it. But it'll do for now. I can really tell if I like it when it dries down. I feel like I look so crazy right now. I'm sorry, y'all. This is me. This is natural Lativia. I got the poofy hair, okay? My hair is strong. Okay, so we're gonna use our foundation. Let's see if it matches because one thing about Sephora's lighting, in there I will try on a foundation or whatever and it'll match me and then when I get home, I'm like, uh-uh, this do not match. I 
Oh yeah. That's like skin. Yeah. <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you know I was raving about this Estee Lauder, which I still do, don't get me wrong. But I just hate the applique, I hate, obviously I get a thing for applicators, okay? I hate how it comes out. I have to pour it out on my hand. I like that this has a pump. I just wanna have, I want my makeup to be an easy process. I don't wanna have to be pouring it out on my hand. So, the fact that I got this, I'm like, yes. I didn't even wanna switch from NARS. It's just that this color is never available. I feel like a lot of girls, my color must have really used NARS because this is never in stock, only in the drier formulas. I do feel like I look a bit yellow. That's why I like the Estee Lauder. There's no like yellow tone to it. I just look like normal. But I hate pouring that thing out on my hand. Uh, now we're gonna use the new concealer that we got. This concealer is crazy. So beautiful. This concealer is amazing. I just feel like I want a lighter color. I like a brighter concealer. Now we're gonna try this sponge. It's so soft. Good job, Sephora. If it ain't big, then I won't. Any, any, money, mo. And voila, I'm a whole brand new chick bus. This is a good thing about having wigs and keeping them because I just threw this little baby on and I'm gonna snatch it right back off when I'm done. But I just finished up, did my hair. I am wearing my Merit Beauty lipstick because I wanted like a neutral look today. <sighs> Didn't want to look like I was trying too hard. So now I'm gonna change and put on something to match my headband and get to recording. Oh, by the way, this is a half wig. I think it's supposed to be like half wig, so you can do half up, half down, but I have it clipped all the way here and I'm just covering the track with my headband. I got this from Love Me Hair. So if you guys wanna check them out, um, the link will be in the bio. I had this hair for over a year. It definitely needs a wash, but I think for it not to be washed, it's still very nice. I love Love Me Hair. The only reason I haven't been buying from them lately is because their V part wigs, they don't have, they only have U part. And I'm trying to do just V parts cause I don't want too much leave out. So if it weren't for that, I would be buying from Love Me Hair. But since I need V-Part, I've been buying from Amazon. So yeah, let me go record. I will talk to y'all in a little bit.
Hey y'all, so I just finished recording a clothing haul. I did a, my luggage review. But after doing the clothing haul and having my mirror out here, I am now realizing that I have to order a mirror. Like I'm gonna go look on Amazon right now. I need a mirror out here, look at this. Look at this lighting and it just looks so much better. I mean, ignore all that. I'm gonna, listen, once I get the mirror, I'm gonna get like a nice vase. Oops, my hand. I'm gonna get a nice vase and a pompous gla glass. A pompous grass, like a tall one, and put it right next to that. This, ooh, it's gonna be so cute. I still don't know. I saw a thing yesterday. Y'all, y'all see it in a vlog. It was round. I was thinking about getting that to put here and just put like some items on it, like items like these, and maybe like some candles. I don't know. And obviously, something for like God. I might get like a cross, but yeah. And then, y'all, this is the pillow. It's just like the other one. It has the same material as the throw right there. And similar to this material too. Um, I kept the tag on it so y'all could see how much this costs. Obviously, I didn't pay this price because I got this from um, Home Goods. But look at that. $82? Who's going to buy this for $82? Not me. I paid $25 for this. I don't know what to call the inside cushion, but I noticed that the pillows like this that you can like chop down easily, they cost more. <laughs> Sorry, Coco. This is our new pillow. You better be nice to it. Get down. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Of here. Get out. Of here. Oh. I said, Paul, not your stink breath. Get out. Go. Y'all, I'm going to chill out for a little bit. I'm going to have me a glass of champagne and eat some food. I didn't. <coughs> so rude. I didn't eat all day. For breakfast, I had a tall glass of green juice. I had some water. Then I had that matcha to wake me up because I was like in a mood to lay back down. But I'm like, no, let me get up. Let me check these emails. I have some emails to reply to. I had to pay for my classes today and do these videos. So yeah, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Y'all, so I'm getting ready to go to dinner. I'm finally ready. I know I look really shiny. It's my body butter and my perfume together like got me glistening. But anyways, I have on this bodysuit I found at Discovery Clothing. It reminds me of the Wilford body uh, bodysuit, so I'm like, let me grab that. Just got on these black leather pants from Fashion Nova. I got these last year, so they might still be up on the site. I don't know. And then I got on these white Bottega shoes with my white Jacquemus. I feel like this outfit is really giving. Maybe I should try to take some pictures. I don't know. I feel like I don't like my hair. It took me an hour to put this hair in a bun today. I don't know. Sometimes my hair just does what it wants to do. But yeah, y'all, this is my outfit of the night. I feel like I look really, really cute. And yeah, we're going to Novikov. You guys see me there a thousand times. We don't switch it up too often, but I'll try to get some footage. So. All good, chuck a look around, find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. Got my 
lemonade. Hey y'all, don't judge me. I know I look a mess right now. And I got a little mask going on in one spot because I had a breakout. And I was stressed out for a second and I popped it. Like when I, I notice now, now I can see that I pop and pick my skin when I'm having like anxiety. But I'm okay, don't worry. But anyway, I'm closing out this vlog. I have more stuff I wanted to add to it because I'm going to do something fun in a little bit but um the vlog is already long and i'm trying not to go over 45 minutes so like i said i got an activity i'm going to do right now i will put this over to the next vlog so make sure you guys come back and tune in if you haven't done so already please give this video a like comment down below let me know what was your favorite part of the vlog subscribe to the channel join the family okay and for my returning subscribers, I did not forget about the, the Q&A, the drink thing, the uh, truth or drink. I'm just going to wait until we hit 1,000 because we're almost there. So once I get that 1K, the first video I will drop will be the truth or drink. So if you want to ask me some more questions to go with the truth or drink, I will have the link down below. So thank y'all so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in the next video.